Pinky, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, as you can tell by the title and my hair and my makeup, we are going to be recreating Doja Cat. Um, she was on Instagram Live and it low-key became a meme on Twitter because people were saying like, she did that Shrek. The dragon from Shrek. I, I didn't say it. And, um, but I actually like low-key liked the look. In my opinion, it was cute. And I was like, I have a red wig. So I have red hair, so let's just, let's have fun. You know, let's have some fun. Um, I wanna start this series on my channel coming into the fall, which is basically recreating like celebrity looks um, up into Halloween. So I thought this would be kind of a cool way to start it out because I really did like this look. It's so different for me. I never really do green eyeshadow. I wear my red hair, but barely, but I was gonna say, as y'all can tell, as if I like wear it on my channel, but I cut this hair and everything, and you're gonna see the full entire process. So, if you guys wanna see me basically kind of transform into Doja Cat, because I really like this look, then please keep watching. So, I'm fresh out the shower, hair is washed. Let me stop playing with this, like it's not gonna fall off because I don't have enough hair. But okay, so this is the wig I'll be working with um we've seen her on the channel i don't know why i would put her out like that let me grab my brush i just got makeup on my white shirt cute but i want to revamp her because i'm obviously a hairstylist it's quite obvious so i'm i want to cut her like a little bit under shoulder length but i want to straighten it and i don't know if i should straighten it first or cut it first because i don't know if it's gonna straighten because it is a synthetic wig but it's very good quality it's as you can tell it's extremely thick so it may so um i guess i'm gonna do that first even though i planned on doing it last but here we are changing up the idea so um i'm gonna throw the wig on and i'm gonna see what i want to do if i want to try and straighten it first i don't even know where my straightener is so there's that one but i might try and cut it first and see where that takes us so Let's get the wig on because I'm not gonna show y'all what's up. Okay, so she's on, this is her. She's not secure or anything, I just kinda put her on. Obviously, if that's not quite obvious. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it first. Say goodbye to the long red knotted hair. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. So, let's get into it. Okay, so I cut the hair. I wanted it to be cut anyways. I kind of like this style. So there's that. I'm gonna put my headband on and we're gonna get right into this makeup. So I'm gonna do my base first because I don't really think it matters too much in this look. We're mainly focused on like the hair because like this is the hair and then her makeup, like her eye makeup. So I'm gonna just do my facial makeup and then I'll be back when we're ready to do the eyes. Okay, so here's our picture. People was calling her up on Twitter. I said, please. But okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Morphe 35M palette. Don't mind my hands. And I'm gonna be just working in this, oh, hold on, wrong side. I'm gonna be working in this upper region right here with the different greens. So. Hers more, looks more bluish green, but 
we're taking our own twist, sweetie. Okay? So, I want to, let's see. I'm gonna go into the shade Stroke of Luck. Hope you guys can see. Is my brush wet IDK? I'm gonna put that in my crease. And I'm gonna be like building up from lightest to dark, I guess. Yeah, mine's gonna be like different a bit, but I don't mind it. I accidentally mixed in Express Yourself, which is the green right next to it, but I'm not minding it whatsoever. Um, I kind of want to take the shade Green with Envy, which is this one right here, and add that into that to deepen it a bit. Right underneath that shade. Not really replacing it, but underneath and then mixing it. Kind of like so. I'm going to go back in with Stroke of Luck and just make sure that it's on the top to kind of blend it together on both eyes. And then boom, we're done. Just kidding. It's very simple, so it seems like she has a kind of the base. Now mine is obviously more green, but I like the more green on me at least. So I'm gonna go in with just like a shimmer shade, and I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, Bold Moves. It's like a greenish gold, and I'm liking her. So this brush is like wet a bit, so I kind of want to go in like that and just apply that all over the lid, all over. Oh my god, the brush is so cold. Feeling it on my eyes is like the weirdest thing. I'm liking this actually a lot. It's simple but green, so it makes it like simple but poppin'. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. I don't want to do anything too crazy to them. I like this. So what I'm going to do next is go into some eyeliner. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, liquid liner in shade jet black and I'm gonna be creating a wing Now her wing isn't like too too long, but it's not short at the same time So I'm gonna kind of go along like with the eyeshadow length if that makes sense We're taking that all the way into the inner corner, not creating an inner wing. But okay, so for her lash line, so it's clear in her lash line she does have black, which scares me, but it goes all the way in. Well, actually she did make a little wing, but I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna just... Oh, this is kind of scary, hold on. Because it's obvious that she went in with a black liner, but it wasn't too intense. But here I am intense as hell. So, I'm going to wipe off my face powder. I'm going to finish off the face with you guys. I'm going to go into this face palette because it has a blush, highlighter, and a bronzer. Oh my god, I keep forgetting. Look, blush, highlighter, and a bronzer. And this is from Beauty Bakery. It's a Neapolitan bar. She looks like this. So I'm gonna take just this angled brush and go into the bronzer of this palette and go over the cream contour that I did off camera. So this is how the contour is looking so far. Obviously when I remove this, I'm gonna put contour a little bit more so that I'm not looking 
two different shades of crazy. But so I want to go into the blush shade next because it's quite obvious that she does have a blush on. It's pretty. I think I'm going to use the same brush. Now I know that sounds crazy, but I'm going to see how that works out. And then if it looks very much insane, I'll do something different. But I don't want it to be like too harsh. I like to smile when I put my blush on. And I think that looks like a good combination, kind of. I don't know, you can see it on camera, but I'm gonna add some right there. So I'm gonna take my big um, e.l.f. Total Face Brush. I really love this brush just for all over. And I'm gonna kind of blend everything out. I'm not too sure if she has a highlighter on, but I want a highlighter. Well, do I? Hold on, let me make sure. I think I'm gonna really stick with the look. So I guess I'm not gonna put a highlighter, even though I wanted to put a highlighter. So, but it looks good with like a matte face. So next we're gonna go back into the eyes. So for mascara, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is in the shade, I think it's just black or brown black. I did not mean to get brown black, but she's cute. My favorite drugstore mascara and it just coats my lashes oh so well. For lashes, I'm going to be going into these lashes that I did get from Amazon. I just did a video on them. Video could be up here, wherever, if you guys want to check it out. So I'm just going to take those and apply them. I use my Kiss Lash Glue. That's one lash. I like how pretty but also not too intense that it is. I don't know. But I was just trying the lash on. I'm going to let the lash glue dry a bit. So while I'm letting the lash glue dry because she's just slipping and falling everywhere, we're going to go into the lower eyes. Lower eyes, the lower lash line. So I'm going to go back into the Morphe 35M palette. And I kind of want to take Express Yourself and Nude Tude. And... I want to take it on like a small brush. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. And I'm going to take those two shades and I'm going to mix them together, ending with Nude Tude. And I'm going to add that on the bottom lash line. Okay, I'm just going to go on with Express Yourself. That's much better and much more noticeable. To check on the lashes um so i'm gonna try again after failing i'm liking i'm liking i really like to do my lashes with my fingers it gives me more control i feel like um but yeah, let's move on to the lips. So she had a very nude lip. And here I am breaking the rules again. I don't think I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna have a nude lip, but you're gonna see kind of like my twist on like my typical nude lip, just because I think it just compliments me better than that lip would. I said all that for life. Before, well, before I go into lips, I'm gonna finish off my lower lash line with some mascara. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Retro Paradise liner in I don't know. This is the darkest one in the um, collection, though, and I'm going to line my lips. I kind of want to take the lightest lip liner from that collection and add that to the middle because her lips seem to be more pinky nude, in my opinion. I really want to add a gloss, but her lips, we, her lips were matte, and I've already made the green lighter, so let's not, 
do anything else too crazy. So I'm gonna see about this hair and then we'll be on our way and done and slaying this summer, almost fall. I'm ready for fall, I'm ready for the cute looks, but let's continue this hair. I wanna attempt to straighten this wig. It's just, I don't know how it's gonna straighten. I love the like, wait, hold on. Let me really like brush it out and see how I feel. Honestly, I like the way the hair is looking like with the kind of like curl on the bottom because it's like short, but like the curl is cute. So I think I'm gonna keep it like this. I don't know, I like this for me. I like this for me, but okay. So I'm gonna keep the hair like this, plot twist, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was fun to like recreate like, while I'm cutting my hair, to recreate like a celebrity look and to just do something different with my look. I really like it. It's actually very much cute, I don't know. I love this hair color. I do wanna go like darker burgundy, but that's another that's another day but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye